when you're given this type of question, how are you going to approach it? Would you start with division before multiplication? Or would you go from left to right or right to left? Well, everybody will want to do their own thing. But the truth is, if you start with division, let's say you say 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 3 divided by 2, you get 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 2, you have 9 as a result. But let's say no, you decided to start with the multiplication before the division. There you say 12 divided by, now let's work with the multiplication first. 2 times 3 is 6, now divided by 2. This will give 12 divided by 6 is 2, divided by 2 will result to 1. You see that whichever one we start with, we have different values or different answers. But mass is not like that. In mathematics, we go with what we call the order of operation. And what helps us in most cases to solve questions like this is this phrase known as bed mass. Bed mass. Where B is brackets, E is exponent, D is division, M is multiplication, A is addition, Y S is subtraction. Well, we go from this order from left to right. That is it. So that means if we're given a question and it contains a bracket, for example, 3 plus 2 divided by 5, now divide by 4. We look if we're going to be seeing a bracket, then we do the bracket first. Then after working with what we have inside of the bracket, we can move on to the next operation. Here we look at exponent. Exponent means a power of something. For example, 5 to the power of 2. So 2 is the exponent. 5 to the power of 2 means 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. So we're going to be looking at the question if it is carrying an exponent. For example, this 5 can be 5 to the power of 3. So after bracket, we work with the exponent. So exponent 5 to the power of 3, which is 5 times 5 times 5 is 25. Then after working with that, then we move on to division and multiplication. Well, division and multiplication are on the same level, which means we do not have to do division first or multiplication first, always. But it depends on which one comes first in the given question. For example, do we have division first before multiplication or we have multiplication first before division? So whichever one comes first is what we are to do. The same thing applies to addition and subtraction. So they are on the same level. So which means we do not always have to do addition first or subtraction first. But which one comes first is what we do. In the end, we're going to be having the same result. Now, look at the given question. You notice that we have division first before multiplication. So we work with the division. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. Now times 3 all over 2. Now 6 times 3 will give 18. And 18 divided by 2 will give you a result of 9. Is that what you have? If you have that, that means you're on the right track of mathematics. And you know what is called PEDMAS. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.